What is going on guys? It's Daily Tactics here and welcome to an incredible feudal Japan castle that is being invaded by Vikings today. That's right, we're back in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator playing the brand new tabs map creator update with some awesome maps today. Some of them are by you guys meant for the channel. Some of them, like this one, are just some of the best maps I've seen on the map creator. If you guys make me a map, be sure to label it daily, D-A-L-E-Y, and I will try my best to play it on the channel. There's a lot on there, but I love playing the maps you guys make. Either way, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below. Well, let's get into it here, boys. For posterity's sake, here are the numbers. There are 204 Vikings that cost $38,800. There are 171 defending Japanese that cost $38,730. Let's go ahead and get right on into it. The Vikings are being led by the Jarl himself right here. And the Monkey King is leading the feudal Japanese. And the Monkey King just heads straight on in and gets headbutted. Oof! These boys are going to have a number of concussions as the Monkey King splits into multiple. We see some ninja stars flying in there, aka shurikens, as well as dragon's breath, dousing a whole lot of those headbutters. And the Monkey King continues to just go absolutely nuts. <laughs> oh my god, ice archers fighting against the dragon breath over here. And we've also got watcha shots coming in from the side over this way. Some of them did hit the trees there, actually a lot of them, which is very helpful, but more did end up hitting those Viking invaders right there. Now I did show all of the stats for the battle at the very beginning there because last video I was accused of rigging a totally accurate battle simulator battle. Now guys, I love totally accurate battle simulator. I do, it's fantastic. But I do not care enough about the game or the stakes of each battle to rig them. I really don't give a crap. <laughs> like, I hate to put it that brutally honest. I love making these videos. They are super duper fun. I have a blast. But man, oh man, why on earth would I ever rig a video? Like, I, I think people think that I, like, genuinely care about the outcome of each battle. I find each battle interesting. I'm interested in learning the outcome of each battle, but no! I do not care! <laughs> Who wins? <laughs> Sometimes I'm rooting for one side or the other, but going into it, man, I promise you I do not rig battles unless I'm trying to make them historically accurate, which most of the time I'm not because it's totally accurate battle simulator, boys! I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but that is just the truth. Whoa, what is that? Oh, the, are those firework art? Wait. What was that? What causes that kind of fire? <laughs> I don't think it was the dragons, was it? I'm a little confused. What, what are you doing up here, buddy? <laughs> I don't know what's happening, but either way, the exterior defenses are going absolutely ham on these Vikings. Uh, doing way more damage than I ever would have thought they'd be capable of. That is absolutely crazy. By the way, I just wanted to take a second to go ahead and uh, do a big ol' shout out to Maddox. Uh, a couple days ago, it was his birthday. Happy birthday, my man. Um, I'm more than happy to always do birthday shout outs uh, to those of you who have a birthday coming up and stuff like that. So happy birthday, man. Sorry it's belated, but uh, I hope you're having a good one and I hope you had a great birthday. That's awesome. So happy birthday, Maddox. Either way, what we got going on here is a bunch of frozen Nebelwerfers in the very back here. Uh, it's not stopping it from firing, though. Oh, the ice archers are terrible, man. Oh, headbutters, though. <laughs> Taking some shots straight to the gut right there. Holy smokes. Jeez Louise. I am worried we are only going to have ice archers at the very end of this thing. And they are just not that good. The dragons, man, doing absolutely meaty things. A Valkyrie tries going in there. Gets kicked to death. Oh my god. Where's the Jarl? Is he still alive over here? I worry that the Jarl has indeed died, and now we just have some brawlers left alive and some ice archers. And there's still the entire castle keep over this way. Yet yeah, something is throwing fire. What throws fire in this? Can the monks throw fire or something? Is it the cannons? Is it part of the map? Oh! Oh! They added fire ballista over this way. 
I was so confused as to what was doing that. Like, what, what on earth was doing that? Holy cow. Oh my god, look at all the ice archers over this way. They all got stuck in the boat. Oh my god. I'm embarrassed of this Viking army, man. This Viking army was absolutely freaking terrible. Like, really, really bad. <laughs> Holy cow, they got destroyed. Alright, let's restart this, but let's uh, remove all of the exterior defenses uh, for the samurai. Alright, I removed all the exterior defenses, and now we're going to go with just the interior here, uh, just to see what that's like, because the exterior ended up being fairly OP. I'm wondering if these flame shots actually end up doing anything to the attackers. I'm not entirely sure. Wow, Ice Archer's missing a whole awful lot. That is kind of pathetic, and I... I actually forgot until we started this battle that the samurai do have that deflect ability so the ice archers are even more useless. Oh! That guy did get hit by- oh! A bunch of dudes got hit by the flames and died. That's crazy! Okay, but here we go. Here come the berserkers and the headbutters and they're going in fam. Oh! Wee! And chaos absolutely erupts! <laughs> and it is fairly chaotic. We do have firework archers up top here. I'm not entirely sure if they have great shots from those ramparts or up here. Yeah, these these shots are pretty crowded. They, they might be able to do something, but it's probably going to be pretty hard. So we'll have to wait and see what sort of happens there. Either way, I mean, fairly decent stairs defense there from the samurai. They got a solid number of kills, and they're continuing to get kills uh, as we go here. Oh, more fire going down. Is that going to hit anyone? Nah. That was a weak one. Valkyries should be able to actually go up over the walls, and that they are. These would be great soldiers to go after those firework archers that are up here with. Except they're stuck on this roof. They're stuck on the shingles. What are they doing? Oh my goodness. It is rough out here. Ice archers going in. That is definitely not the front liners that you want, but it's what we got right now. Here come some berserkers to actually fill those gaps and hopefully get some kills. Come on, boys. Yeah, here we go. That's a lot of ice archers. Why is there only ice archers? <laughs> I swear, there should be like a bajillion berserkers and the brawlers and the freaking headbutters. There we go. There's the infantry. Infantry is coming in now. They are suffering some pretty high losses. Oh, all these guys up here did end up dying. How did... How did this guy get up there? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> and these guys over here did end up getting killed by the Valkyrie, so that actually works out too. Now there's very few samurai and monks left alive over here. They're going to get butchered. Um, so the castle will fall, but the initial defense did end up doing uh, very, very well there. They won the first one, couldn't manage to secure the bag on the second one. Alrighty then, guys. Whew, let's do another map here. Alright, this time around, we've got the Japanese defending a small temple on top of a hill here. And this is actually... World War II. We are no longer in feudal Japan. Uh, so we have some kamikaze units here as well as a number of assault infantry units that are going to be charging on forward at the start. Then further back we've got cannons as well as their defensive units back here uh, and their uh, Imperial Japanese Major back there. They're going up against the U.S. Army, of course, who are sending forward M1 Grand Soldiers, Springfield Soldiers, Thompson Soldiers, BAR Soldiers, and they have a U.S. Major in the very back as well. So, let's see how this ends up going here. Right off the rip, the U.S. firing at those charging Japanese forces. There goes some of those grenades that those assaulters have, and... The kamikaze units end up actually exploding before they can get their kamikaze sticks off because the U.S. ended up shooting them early on. Oh, one of them did go off. One of them did go off big time, shooting a whole lot of U.S. soldiers deep into the air there. That's uh, a rip rip potato chip if I have ever seen one. More of these assault Japanese soldiers getting caught up in tons and tons of U.S. fire here. They actually have some survivability. There's the Major calling in a U.S. airstrike right there, taking out a number of them. So the U.S. is going to be victorious in the first stage of this battle, it seems. Some combat medics over here, healing up some Japanese soldiers, but that won't last too long. Actually, a number of the Japanese Marines and stuff falling off of the hill there. <laughs> Uh-oh. Reggie. Uh, we've also got artillery up here that's capable of firing out at the U.S. soldiers. They seem to have some sort of ill effect happening on them, too. Actually, the U.S. is kind of in shambles down here. Oh, I think it might have been bazooka fire causing some 
some friendly fire that messed him up pretty good and then this hill is just very hard to take and then the Japanese major calls in some artillery against the US major right there who is stuck in the back here with a number of his units stuck on some trees oh god we have a you oh well he did <laughs> I was gonna say we have a Japanese soldier going to investigate there we go a few of the US did end up getting out of there and they are marching on forward oh my god the artillery fire is real going on right now here let me help you out boy oh I'm trying Ah, we got toasted! No! <laughs> Come on, US Major! Start artillery firing back. Oh, there's the Japanese Major. Oh, he came out here. He came out to play, didn't he? Oh, dear God. Alright, Thompson Troopers gunning down some Japanese soldiers right there. The artillery fire, I don't even know who it's coming from at this point. They're both just artillery striking each other back and forth, back and forth, back and forth! What on earth? What in the same heck there? That is no good. Oh! U.S. Major versus Japanese Major. They're they're directly combating each other now. Oh, U.S. Major got stabbed. Is he dead? Oh, he died. The Japanese Imperial Major ended up winning that. And then who's left alive for the U.S.? Oh, that feller. And he died. So, the... Oh, wait, what? Oh. Never mind. For some reason I read blue victory instead of red victory. I'm an idiot. <laughs> okay, so the Japanese did win that thing. Um, they won by a decent bit, nothing too crazy. <laughs> nice one, let's do one more battle here. Alright, for the final battle, this was actually made for me. It's called World War II Bomb City for Daily Tactics. Thank you so much to the person who made this. I really appreciate it. We have the British on the right side over here. They are stronger in numbers with 171, but each of their soldiers is worth less than the Germans on the left side over here who are lesser in numbers but they've spent more money on the battle and uh, they have more elite soldiers for each soldier so let's see who wins this this is actually a really cool city I really like it there's some pretty cool trenches involved uh, just the city atmosphere is very very cool so we have uh, British assaulters going in against the Germans right here the Germans responding back with car 98k fire right there Ooh, over this way we've got some German grenadiers throwing some uh, lob grenades against some British commandos on the other side of the field we've also got some New Zealand infantry in here we've got Australian snipers uh, we do have some Indian soldiers in here some Maori soldiers we got all sorts of different uh, soldiers from the British Commonwealth during this battle I always like to try and uh, represent all the countries in the British Commonwealth um, in these battles because it's always fun some British grenades going out against some of the Germans on the other side. There goes one of the MP41 uh, German soldiers that was uh, attacking right there. A whole lot of grenades going a little, little short there. That was definitely a smidge short. That <laughs> not the greatest grenades I have ever seen in my lifetime. Not the greatest. All right, what's going on on the main streets back over this way again? Uh, looks like that first wave of Brits is dead, but the second wave is coming in. Matching against some G43 wielding Vemact soldiers over here uh, that are firing away. Absolutely crazy stuff right now. Oh my god, if a Piat shot goes right here, all of these Germans will die instantly. That could be horrible. Oh, and these are Grenadiers actually over that way. So if they get a grenade off right over here. Oh, and they do, and they blow up all of those Germans. Oh my god. That was a disaster for the German lines. Yikes, that's why you do not bunch up like that. That is just bad news bears all around. Okay, we do have some New Zealand soldiers going up in the middle side over here. There's just so much grenade warfare going on. Piots and Panzerschrecks firing out at each other. Whoo, baby! I don't know who's gonna win this one, to be completely honest with you. I don't know. We have some SS soldiers going down the middle here. Oh, they are throwing some, some gnarly grenades against some of those Brits, getting some big explosions on them. I'm thinking maybe the Germans have this just based on late war aggression here that we got going on. Uh, yeah, I mean, these are some nice grenades that they're tossing in there. That is, that is not too shabby at all. Wow. All right. Yeah, this is looking like a big old German victory. In this case, money talks and numbers do not. We do have some commandos over here, though, still alive. Yeah, they can pack a pretty mean mean punch they've got some BARs borrowed from the US no less but they're going up against STG 44s probably the more powerful weapon to be completely honest with you and some grenades getting tossed at them are there any more soldiers over here for the Brits 
yes, there are. There's some uh, New Zealanders over here fighting against some MP40 wielding uh, German soldiers. Germans struggling to finish these guys off, even though they're pretty tightly packed. Oh, there's that grenade. <laughs> That'll do some damage right there, and there you go. The Germans do end up with a victory in this last battle here. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to hit that like button if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below if you'd like to see some more. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.